Hi, I'm Nikila Raul. And I'm Danny Chelius. And we are Pediatric, Pediatric Otolaryngologists. Otolaryngologists. We're here today to talk to you a little bit about ear tubes. Ear tubes have become extremely common and we see kids coming into us all the time to talk about recurrent ear infections. If you're a parent uh, who has a child in daycare, you've probably heard about ear tubes from lots of the parents in your neighborhoods and at your schools. Recurrent ear infections are a major problem for young children, especially if they're in environments where they're exposed to lots of other children. They share illnesses with each other and the illnesses can cause them to wind up with an ear infection. In this case, the ears are an innocent bystander to an infection that's probably starting in the nose, but we still have to help take care of the ears since the ear infections wind up putting kids on lots of antibiotics. One option to deal with recurrent ear infections is ear tubes. When we think about ear tubes, we're making a hole in the eardrum to let air get in from the outside and fluid to leave through the eardrum. The result is that children with ear tubes have fewer ear infections, and if they do get an ear infection, it can drain out through the tube, meaning that while everyone around them might not like what they're seeing, the children won't have as many symptoms. It won't hurt them, and they'll be a much happier kid. Ear tubes are an option to manage recurrent ear infections that you can talk to your ear, nose, and throat doctor about, and hopefully it will help make your life and your kid's life a lot easier. Now, as opposed to recurrent ear infections, another indication for ear tubes are when kids get fluid in their ears that won't go away on its own, and this is known as chronic otitis media with effusion. This can often lead to problems with hearing, balance, you can get speech delay, and there are a number of things that we worry about from a developmental standpoint when fluid sits in the ears. We recommend typically for kids who have had uh, fluid in their ears for at least three months and who have one of these other symptoms that the discussion be had again about uh, ear tubes. This is actually a recommendation from our academy to move forward with tubes in these kids to prevent further developmental delay. Again, we, the procedure is very much the same, and often following the ear tubes you can notice pretty significant immediate improvement uh, in hearing and often in speech. If your child does need ear tubes, the procedure is very simple. It's usually a five to ten minute surgery with a quick discharge home afterwards, and most kids can go back to school the very next day. To find out more about ear tubes and other related conditions, go to enthealth.org and click on the Find an ENT button to find an ear, nose, and throat physician near you.